Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For a while I've been wanting to do a room tour. I moved in like three years ago. Unfortunately, I never got around to doing it, but because it's Christmas and my room is all winter wonderland, I'm gonna show you around and let's just do it, shall we? The first thing we've got is this poster. This is a Harry Potter poster that you will not be able to see anywhere else because I got this from work. It was meant to be a price point holder to go in like when you have merchandise certain section we had like a harry potter section i got to keep one because we didn't need it we have tinsel above my door which obviously is just for christmas on the story i used to sell a tape first it kept falling down so i just nailed two nails in and hooked it on and now it doesn't fall down when you open the door as much here we have some lights that i got from Tyco. These were about £25 and I would show you them turned on but I don't have a screwdriver to replace the battery at the moment. But they're like a really nice rainbow colour and unfortunately I can't turn them on right now. This is a mirror that I got really cheap from Argos. I think it was like £20 at the time. Then I use it to basically hang my tinsel on for Christmas. I wrapped tinsel around this side here which was actually really hard to do because if you move the mirror like you can push it out then the tinsel will come off. These are my lanyards from Primark. I am actually leaving in two weeks. I'll make a separate video on that next week. I'll be crying my eyes out. This is my supervisor badge and my duty manager one. And cute little story. I got these from Greg's, from the little ring buns that they do, and I gave them out to everyone in my department. <laughs> and even my manager wears one, and I'm gonna tell them to keep wearing them in memory of me. In memory of me. And these are my lanyards that I've got from various concerts and stuff. I have a million of the summertime ball ones. And then I have the Purpose Tour one from Justin Bieber's tour and the Hogwarts one which I got at King's Cross Station. And obviously it's yellow for Hufflepuff. Why are you giggling? <laughs> <laughs> this is my wardrobe. It's actually broken at the moment so I need to buy another one. This is a little Christmas tree that I got from Poundland. Super super cute. Then here you've got the lights wrapped around and tinsel as well. I think I got this from Primark, I'm not sure. This is a box that I got from a display at work. We were doing a Harry Potter like theme in the front windows. Basically we had a Harry Potter themed like display in the windows. I think it's when the first Fantastic Beasts came out actually. It's really good for like storing just random things in like my wands and things like this. I got this flag from Pride and a lot of people think I'm gay because of it but I truly don't She care. just supports it. I just support hardcore. Then here is my tree. It's very, very pretty. Oh no, I haven't got one of the lights on. Wait. Ta da! This is my tree, and I just wanted to show you a few of the baubles I've got. This is a Harry Potter one I got from Primark for £5 a few years ago, but they also did it this year as well. And we've got this one, I think that was from last year as well. This one is obviously duplicated. Then this was a new one we did this year that's actually reduced now to £3. This one is Hedwig that I got this year in a two-pack set. They were like five pounds each. I think she came with this, which is the Hogwarts Express, which is really, really cute. I also have a Hagrid one somewhere. Here he is. And he came with something else, but I can't actually remember what it was, and I can't seem to find it on the tree. This Hufflepuff one, which I actually don't like too much because they've messed up the badger. But the fun's okay, so who knows. You basically get that in a full set with all of the houses. And yeah, just I got a whole bunch of new things. I've also got friends balls actually somewhere, like this one, the Central Park one. And you have the sofa somewhere on here. Yeah, Primark had a lot of good balls this year. Then here is my bookshelf. It has the lights obviously dangled around. I put tinsel. You have the money box, which I actually don't store any money in. I just it's a collectible from Primark, and it's Harry Potter themed anyway. These are McDonald's like charity teddies I got for Halloween. Then you have a candle, that's a half puff one that I've never lit because I just don't want to light it. Then you've got the Hedwig uh, snow globe that's meant to be from the Christmas range and Central Perk candle also from Primark which smells delicious. Here is my TV which I literally never ever use in my life, like I've used it like twice. It has Netflix and YouTube on it so maybe one day I should actually use it. You've got this little jar that I got, I can't remember where from but when I first moved in. I got these cute little Santa and snowman from Poundland. I've never actually turned them on. Yeah they flash. Oh. But I just don't want it to run out before Christmas. And I've got these Harry Potter cards that I got from Primark, but I've just kind of put them there for display purposes. They're not actually from anybody. And then obviously a sand hat on there. Then I have a Hogwarts robe, which I also got from Primark. Everything in my room is from Primark, pretty much. Harry Potter Hufflepuff portrait, which you can barely see. Yeah, but I got go. that from London. And here are some potion lights. There are two different sets. There are the Honey Dukes sets with like different flavours and stuff on and then just the normal like potions class ones. Then you've got 
one of these Harry Potter themed ones that I also all got from Primark and then the central perk one's also from Primark and then I just got a Poundland like frame and put like a leaflet in there I'm getting out of breath from talking yeah I know <laughs> Ooh. Um, and just made it myself to match the others I want to put some Fantastic Beasts posters I got from the cinema in a frame to match it over here as well then I got all these Christmas decorations from Poundland you can show you the ceiling while I catch my breath Try not to get too close to the line. <laughs> here we go. Then, obviously, here I have Benedict Cumberbatch's Sherlock, which I got from Madame Two Swords um, one Christmas. This is a Hufflepuff stocking that I got from Typo. It was about £12. I thought it was 50% off Black Friday. Got to the tills and it wasn't, but it was worth it. You've got my next Christmas tree. <laughs> um, a picture of me and Jessica. Hedwig, which I think I got this from the store at King's Cross as well. Um, I really want to get some nifflers and things like this as yeah. well. I think that would be adorable. And then I've got my one pound advent calendar because I'm so skint this year. I got this from a random furniture shop that's now closed, unfortunately. It says Hogwarts. They did have like Diagon Alley and stuff. I wish I'd got it because mm. now the shop's closed down and I'm upset about it. Then you've got my calendar with Benedict Cumberbatch. Say nothing, Daphne. He's not ugly. No, he's actually <laughs> quite alright. Good. That's the first time I've heard that. Then this I got because it reminded me of Harry Potter. It's actually not a Harry Potter range, but it's from Primark. And if it turns on, then I. Oh. The only problem with this, it is a bit faulty, and I should have returned it. To be honest, but I lost my receipt, and I know the policy because I work there. The batteries run out so quick. Like it doesn't matter what batteries you put in, it lights up like for ten minutes and then it dims. Then here we actually do have lights around my bed. Uh, and there's a second set but I can't be obviously to turn them on. I have the subscribe lights that I've got to put in my videos but I actually barely ever film in front of them anymore. Um, you can kind of read it on the camera but not too much which that is That one's why, blank, don't worry. To be honest I don't actually use them in my videos too much. And here we have my teddy, he's called Ben. Mm. Really? <laughs> yeah, after Benedict Cumberbatch. And I got this duvet um, for Christmas from Primark. Over to the desk. This is my favourite part of the bedroom, to be honest. So I used to have a white chair, but it got so stained from like coffee, makeup, pen marks, my jeans. I had to just buy another one. Here we have a mini tree that I got just because I'm obsessed with Christmas trees, and I made like a little star at the top to go on top. This is actually a tinsel hairband, but I just put it at the top because I was like, why not? Here you have my MacBook, which I saved up for for years and cost me like over £2,000 um, but it was definitely worth the investment because I use it all the time which is why I don't use my TV. There's a keyboard here but it's on charge and then I have my Zoella candle which smells gorgeous, definitely recommend it, smells like hot chocolate, smell it. <laughs> it's from Primark, it says beautiful minds inspire others and I think it was about £3 or £2 or something like that. Then I got some posters from the cinema from when I went to see Fantastic Beasts actually, I'll show you. These are the ones I want to frame and put in black frames to match the rest. So you've got this one, I'm actually not sure what this is called, can you um, remember? It's in Augury? Augury? Augury or something? I don't remember seeing it in the film, do you? It was in the film for about like two scenes. Hmm. I want to put that in frame and also this one which is the one Newt like rides underwater. It's a Kelpie. That's the one. And whilst I didn't like really enjoy the climbs of Grindelwald. I am a huge Harry Potter fan and I don't know. I it's just, a good experience. Yeah, it was a good film, it's just there were a few issues which I spoke about in my video. Link in the description, go check it out. I just, I don't know, maybe the problems will be solved by the next films. I have my laptop which I barely use anymore and the value is awful now so I'm just going to keep it. And uh, don't look at the bin, it's awful. So if you enjoyed this video, you can like, you can comment, and you can subscribe. I forgot about these. The camera woman's giving me a nudge. This is from Tay. She got it in LA for me um, when she went to America. Then this I got from Primark, reduced to a pound. It says, clean up after yourself. How cells don't work here? Ha. Then here you have, this is also from Primark, everything's from Primark, I've just realised. <laughs> then this is also from Primark, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's just really cute. I've also realised that the nail's coming out the wall, which is nice. Oh dear. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So now you can like, comment and subscribe. I make new videos every week, or at least I try to. Can we give a round of applause to Bethany for not being on this We've had to free film this so many times because she can't stop interjecting pointless little comments. 
I feel like I've aged to hear it's on the organised. I feel like you've done a good job, so well done. Oh, that was amazing. amazing. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more vlog type things, I don't know what else I would do, then let me know. Anything to say? No, I'm all good. Wow, I'm shocked. I know, right? <laughs> Bye.